Do you dare to uncover the mysteries of the closest planet to the sun, Mercury? What we're about to reveal will defy your expectations. Scientists are in awe, and you will be too. Stay with us as we unveil real, jaw-dropping images of Mercury that will challenge everything you thought you knew about this fiery world. But first, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to keep exploring the wonders of our universe. The adventure begins now. Mercury, the Sun's closest celestial companion, may initially appear unremarkable and devoid of intrigue. Nevertheless, beneath its scorching surface, an intriguing world unfolds. Surprisingly, Amid its searing temperatures, Mercury's polar regions harbour water. Meanwhile, its planetary landscape continues to astonish astronomers with its unique, rare impact craters and geological features that defy contemporary scientific understanding. Despite its diminutive size, Mercury possesses a sufficient magnetosphere to shield its surface from the ravages of supernovae. Additionally, it sustains a modest atmosphere which, against all odds, has endured the test of time. With a radius of merely 1,516 miles, Mercury resides a mere 36 million miles from the Sun, approximately two and a half times closer than Earth. Consequently, a Mercury year spans a mere 88 Earth days. The planet's temperature extremes are formidable, reaching scorching heights of 800 degrees Fahrenheit, only to plummet to a frigid minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit during the night, owing to its tenuous atmosphere. Notably, Mercury's rotational pace is extraordinarily languid, with one Mercurian day stretching over 59 Earth days, resulting in a prolonged day and night cycle lasting three Earth months. This peculiarly unhurried rotation is not attributed to solar tidal forces, as long believed, but rather stems from a resonance known as spin-orbit resonance, occurring in a 3 to 2 ratio. Mercury rotates on its axis three times for every two orbits it completes around the Sun. It is conjectured that a significant event, possibly a colossal collision with a celestial body, may have induced this change, as evidenced by the plethora of craters on its surface, including the prominent Calaris Impact Basin. Contrastingly, an alternate hypothesis points that Mercury may have been ensnared in this resonance almost from its inception, as proposed by a group of researchers led by Benoit Noel. This theory posits that Mercury's unique resonance pattern existed since its formation. Another critical factor influencing Mercury's rotation and temperature is its eccentric orbit. The planet's path around the Sun is elongated, resembling an egg shape. Depending on its position, Mercury's distance from the Sun can fluctuate between 29 million and 43 million miles. Mercury's orbit reveals another recent discovery, a dusty ring encircling the planet, and surprisingly, Scientists initially believed Mercury was too small and close to the Sun to possess such a ring. They were investigating the region around the Sun for a lack of dust when they stumbled upon this dust ring. The ring is incredibly thin, spanning a width of 9 million miles. The source of this ring may be meteoroids and dust particles sharing the same orbit as Mercury. A group of scientists, led by Dr. Peter Picorni, speculates that this phenomenon might not be unique to Mercury. They suggest it could be common in other exoplanet systems, where various space objects frequently collide with planets lacking substantial atmospheres. Notably, despite its diminutive size, Mercury boasts a magnetic field, although it's the smallest in the entire solar system with just 1% of the strength of Earth's magnetic field. Nevertheless, this magnetic field is capable of reflecting stellar winds off the planet's surface, forming a magnetosphere. However, this magnetosphere likely has some leaks or openings through which sunlight can penetrate. As the Messenger Space Telescope passed by Mercury, it observed magnetic tornadoes on the planet's surface, 
These tornadoes were characterized by beams of magnetic fields extending into interplanetary space, accompanied by rarefied gas and magnetic fields carried by the solar wind. These openings in Mercury's magnetosphere enable the replenishment of its faint atmosphere. But what powers this magnetic field? Mercury's core is the answer here. Astonishingly, the core accounts for one-third of the planet's total mass and has a radius of approximately 1,289 miles. That's only half the size of Earth's core. This substantial core, despite Mercury's small size, generates the planet's magnetic field through movement of electrical currents in the liquid metal within it. Professor William McDonough, a geology expert at the University of Maryland, sheds light on the Sun's initial formation processes. During the Sun's early days, it was encircled by a protoplanetary disk. A significant amount of heavy metals remained in proximity to it. These metals, being weighty, resisted being pushed far away by gases. Consequently, the early stages of planetary formation likely saw a substantial accumulation of metal near the Sun, potentially contributing to the development of Mercury's sizable core. Nonetheless, there are probable explanations for the disproportionately high metal-to-silicate ratio observed on Mercury. Scientists theorize that Mercury might have originally been more massive than its present state. Several hypothetical cataclysmic events could have thwarted its growth. For instance, the influence of the formation of Earth and Venus might have initially occurred closer to the Sun. Subsequently, they migrated to their current orbits, which could have diverted building materials away from Mercury. Alternatively, Mercury's composition could have been altered by the impact of another massive celestial body, resulting in the loss of a significant portion of its mantle. Such a collision with substantial objects could have displaced Mercury, originally positioned farther from the Sun into its current less-than-ideal orbit. These cosmic impacts, along with the subsequent formation of craters evident in images of Mercury, might have continued to erode the planet's silicate surface over time. Nevertheless, all these suppositions remain speculative. Thus, we should anticipate further investigations from upcoming spacecraft missions, such as the Bepi Colombo mission by the European Space Agency and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. These missions will have a primary focus on understanding the origins of Earth's neighboring planets. As much as we yearn to gain deeper insights into Mercury, conducting up-close studies of this celestial body presents significant challenges. Observing Mercury from ground-based telescopes is exceedingly arduous due to its nocturnal visibility, which aligns with the Sun, causing it to rise alongside the daylight star. Prolonged observations during the day can damage optics because of the Sun's intense light. Furthermore, reaching Mercury is more challenging than even the most distant planets in our solar system, primarily due to the Sun's substantial gravitational pull and extreme temperatures. Consequently, spacecraft sent to explore Mercury must navigate the journey with great care. This makes the mission long and risky, but it ensures that the spacecraft operates within acceptable temperature limits throughout its mission. Hence, only two missions, Mariner 10 and Messenger, have been dispatched to study Mercury. Without these missions, our knowledge about Mercury would be significantly limited. Mariner 10 was the pioneering mission to employ gravitational pull of Venus to reach Mercury. It harnessed solar radiation pressure on its two solar panels for maneuvering. Mariner 10, equipped with an array of scientific instruments, confirmed the presence of a crater-covered surface on Mercury and detected its magnetosphere and thin atmosphere. The mission also made the groundbreaking discovery of Mercury's substantial core. Additionally, Mariner 10 took over 2,700 images of Mercury, contributing to the creation of a detailed map of nearly half of the planet's surface. Mariner 10 conducted three flybys of Mercury, spaced six months apart, without entering orbit. Despite not orbiting Mercury, the mission significantly advanced our understanding of the planet. The mission lasted approximately a year before ceasing radio transmission to Earth in late March 1975. In fact, it may still be orbiting the Sun to this very day.
Following a three-decade hiatus, the Messenger spacecraft took over in 2004. In contrast to its predecessor, Messenger not only conducted flybys but also became the first spacecraft to orbit Mercury. This orbital phase allowed for more comprehensive and insightful data collection. MESSENGER's primary objectives included analyzing Mercury's chemical composition and its exosphere and investigating the magnetic field and its sources. It also aimed to study past geological activity on Mercury and examine the current state of its core. Before entering Mercury's orbit, MESSENGER conducted three orbits around the planet to gradually slow down its velocity. Throughout its mission, which extended up to 2014, the spacecraft acquired an impressive collection of over 200,000 images of Mercury, providing valuable insights into this enigmatic world. In total, MESSENGER captured approximately 250,000 images of Mercury during its mission. In early 2015, the MESSENGER spacecraft began to exhaust its fuel reserves. By the end of April 2015, MESSENGER's mission came to a halt as it eventually collided with Mercury creating a new crater on the planet's surface. All in all, the MESSENGER mission spanned approximately a decade, during which it yielded a plethora of captivating and unexpected discoveries. One of the most remarkable accomplishments of the mission was the creation of a comprehensive map of Mercury. MESSENGER meticulously imaged and catalogued all the craters and basins on the planet's surface, enabling scientists to delve into its geology and depth. Moreover, MESSENGER provided invaluable insights into the chemical composition of Mercury's surface. It unveiled that the planet's surface is comprised of 46% oxygen, 12% magnesium, 26% silicon, 7% aluminium, and 4% calcium. The spacecraft also indicated a substantial presence of sulfur on the planet, while iron content was notably lower. These findings, combined with direct photographs of gentle volcanoes, suggest that Mercury may have experienced previous volcanic activity and possibly been entirely enveloped by a magmatic ocean. During cooling, heavy elements like iron would have sunk, accounting for their lower concentration on the surface. The magma ocean phase enriched the planet's atmosphere with volatile substances like sulfur, sodium and chlorine which evaporate at high temperatures. Scientists also hypothesized that this magma melted the planet's interior, although it did not significantly reduce Mercury's mass. As the planet cooled, it contracted, giving rise to the surface features such as cracks and ridges. In addition to evidence of past lava eruptions, MESSENGER discovered water deposits at Mercury's poles. Despite the planet's scorching surface temperatures, the poles remained unheated by direct sunlight, preserving water in the form of ice. Furthermore, this suggests the possibility of liquid water beneath Mercury's surface, although this remains unconfirmed. MESSENGER's investigations led to an unexpected revelation concerning the planet's magnetic field. It was disclosed that the magnetic field had shifted by approximately 20% of Mercury's radius along its axis. Such an anomaly could have had a significant impact on the planet's surface, potentially intensifying solar particle effects in the southern hemisphere and contributing to surface weathering processes. In part two of our exploration, we'll delve deeper into the captivating mysteries of Mercury and the remarkable revelations from the MESSENGER mission. Join us in the next episode as we venture further into the enigmatic world of Mercury, uncovering its secrets and unveiling the wonders that lie beyond. Don't miss out on the next exciting chapter of our cosmic journey.